Hello, Corrats, and welcome back to Paper Mario. I'm Triclide Tamer. We're going to the Toad Town Pier because Colorado is here, rhyming. Uh, hmm, who am I, you say? Why, my dear chap, I'm none other than Colorado famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world. And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I, for one, am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix, though. There's no way to get there, you see. Hmm. Think now, Colorado, how to cross the sea. I don't know, maybe we take a bow or something. Or this weird shaky thing. Eh, I don't like shaky things. Ouch, ouch, what are you doing? Um, what is that? It's talking, and it came over to me. And it's surfacing out, and it has eyes! protruding out of his head. Oh, good heavens, I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Ooh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. And I have problems with it. Something's jumping around in my belly. Oh, oh, help me. Hmm, I say, oh boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a belly ache. Mario, what say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Oh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. And I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. You think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. Alright, let's enter... Mm, might not be the most trustworthy thing. Let's light things up with what? Go on in here. Oh, that seems to be the source of trouble right there. Wow, who that? What do you think I'm doing with that light? I'ma get you. Where are you? Get down here. Let's see if I can just corner it. Ouch, that hurt. What are you doing? Okay, might as well just get right into it. I'ma jump on you. Haha, -ha, take that. And it's a mini boss, so you can't really do much uh, initiative damage. Hey, fella, if you want a piece of this, you got it. I'm ordinary as. I'll get out. Prepare for some pain. Not exactly ordinary. I'll try to. I'm just awkwardly saying ornery, even though it's just ornery. But yeah, uh, I don't even feel like doing a uh, bioism of tattling the fuzzy peed. It's only got 20 HP, no defense, and yeah, doesn't really do a lot of stuff. So, plus, uh, it's kind of hard to tattle it anyway because without what the battle scene is dark. And it's gonna go up there, and it would be hard to get it from up there. Fuzzy Peed! i just do that to you and knock you down. And it's just gonna keep on doing that from now on, so... Mario himself can't really do much, so... Let's see, how about we use a Thunderbolt? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. I win, you lose. Thank you for letting me win. Even though we didn't have to let me win. It's just a really easy battle. <laughs> Aw, oh, shucks! First I get away from that old fishing man, and then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish, and then this fellow with a mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans and the fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy wild life. Mario, it's me, you know, the whale, can you hear me? The thunder cake seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Oh no, it's half empty. I'd say it's half full. Whoosh! And I, I noticed that Watt was kind of protruding out of the blowhole because of the sparks. Hey, it's you, boy. Where's that dumb old fish that ate me up all such? You plumb idiot. You know, I thought I was gone for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my uh, mouth open. Ah, uh, don't we all? Oh, I suppose I can see my way to pretend you this time, but uh, you just watch it. Come on, you probably did walk right into it. It's like, hmm, that thing's sleeping with its mouth open. I uh, reckon I know. Oh, some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. Yeah, you hop on. Maybe we'll get caught by... Old fish mill, whatever his name is. Whew, I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got an eye the tuna and, I mean, eye the whale and quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer, accompany me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. I am henceforth changing my username to Tuna Tamer. Hello! Dolphins, and welcome back to Paper Mario. I'm Tuna Tamer. Anyway, what a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. Mario, um, I think the star kid said a uh, star spirit was um, caught in the big lava lava island. But well, we, um, we should go. Big whale comes to ride. Whee! Huh? Lava lava island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but there's a big volcano on the island and it's on the verge of erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's our call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. I'm sure ready, Mr. Whale. Let's go to lava lava island. Hop on, you and your discular eyes and blushiness. Oh, sure will save then, make some room, hmm? Yeah, you hop on too. <laughs> or maybe the whale would be like, nope, and then just, uh, <laughs> blow hole him away. 
can't believe we're on a tuna, Mario. Do you ever think about how strange life can be? I do. Never thought I'd be on a tuna. It's a big whale, though. And we're finally going to Lava Lava Island, alright. Pretty relaxing area right here with just one seagull around. It's a wingle. You s what? You're electric type. You'd you'd be quad uh, super effective on it. Anyway, chapter five: Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. Lego. Nice looking island here. Let's hop off and investigate stuff. If you want me to take you back to Joe Town, just ask. Alrighty. Yes, well, finally made it, eh? So this is Lava Lava Island. Smashing! Gracious, behold, Mario! They're off in the distance, the top of Mount Lava Lava! Triumphal, we must hurry, make haste! Uh, I don't know why I pressed L there. And here we got some heart plants that can reheal our HP, even though it didn't really take too much damage. I might have taken, like, an HP or two of damage, but... Oh well, I got a heal back. Alright. Do, 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 boop, boom. Yeah, get some hearts out of all that. And if we hammer these trees, we can grab coconuts, yeah. And also, there is a stopwatch to paralyze enemies. Yep, that's a little bit of collectible stuff right here. Let's continue along now. Alright. Yeah! Help, I say, help! What's going on? I say we got new enemies on the reach, so I'll switch to Mario and take care of them. Oh boy. What's up? Oh, Mario, you're supposed to attack the other guy, old bean. You have issues with me? A bit of jealousy, perhaps? No. Uh, anyway, let's get into this battle. These are gold fuzzies, and they're quite on the annoying side. I'm just skipping through this all crazy like, uh, they have 7 HP, they can split, and, uh, you're gonna have to kinda do some button mashing to get them off of you, and they get 2 HP at a time, but you can get it before they can do 2 rounds of 2 HP. And I didn't need to do too much with that because I got the super power stuff. And here he is, he's gonna split. Okay, better than uh, getting HP sucked on me. So might as well use Starstorm on it, yeah. Pray to the stars and have them rain down on you. Yeah. Boink, boink. Only getting one star point as always from things because I'm rather over level. Oh well, keep things balanced. I have plenty of things to go around. I mainly upgrade my badge points and I'm getting close to the 30 that I kept out at. Phew, you saved me. Many thanks, old chum. Well, enough of that. Let's pour ourselves together and press on, what say? Sounds like an idea to moi, if you ask me. Alright, elephant in the beach is a letter to Igor at the boo shop, so that's cool. The guy that was like, I'm not gonna sell stuff to you, but then now that we have Bo, he's like, yeah, I'll sell stuff to you, bruh. Alrighty. Um, one of these trees around here has a star piece. Coincidentally, it was that one. <laughs> it, like, on my nose it says background tree, but I remember it's not exactly in the background. And hello, Yoshis! Hi, hello, howdy, this is Yoshis Village. Mount Lava Lava, you say? Well, the volcano is just to the east of our village, but there's no way to reach it. Besides, the, Yoshi, the village leader said it's be best not to get too close to the village, like it might erupt any day. And these Yoshis have a little bit more of a vocabulary than Yoshi, and then in parentheses, what the Yoshi say. But that's the Mario and Luigi thing, it's a branch off. I, I still would like a Paper Mario and Luigi to like bring those two series together, because there's four games on each series, and then how about a fifth game to cater towards both? Get ourselves a star piece from flipping around right there. And here's the village leader. Welcome to you, Mario. I'm the village leader of Yoshi's Village. I come seeking help. You should go to Mount Lava Lava, do you? Hmm, the entrance to the volcano is in the jungle, but it's very difficult to get to it. Volcano has awakened as well. I think it may be too dangerous for you to go there. Well, that seems like a problem. But there's all these Yoshis in there, so cute and stuff. Welcome to Lava Lava Island. This Yoshi's really used to talk to, but everybody likes him. He's so friendly. I could once read me a book that had a Yoshi in it, but I never really thought that they existed. It's so exciting to see him. Yes, Yoshis are great. And definitely the greatest Mario species ever. I hear like a chainsaw or something outside. I think it's more like a motorbike. But here's the ravens. They're more of a friendly type. Ka ka ka! Oracle of the stars! Mario comes to this island! Mario is fated to meet Master Raphael the Raven! Ka! Ka? Are you the Mario that Master Raphael the Raven was telling us about? I could be. Are you Raphael? Well, it doesn't look too Raphael-y to me. 
Uh, anyway, let's just jump down the tree because there's no fall damage. <laughs> and Kubario was just like sliding down the tree, it seems like. Hey, big green Yoshi, the big guy. Oh, welcome. We don't get visitors to this island very often. We don't. Nah, we should know that the jungle beyond here is dangerous. Our kids are forbidden to go in. Oh, by the way, I just saw a Koopa guy who calls himself an archaeologist running in the opposite direction. He was saying something about finding a way to the volcano. Now there's a guy who's heading for danger. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, it's so rare to have visitors these days. I love to stop and chat, but I have my fins full. I'm watching these boys who are very, very naughty, so they don't do anything dangerous. I can't prove it yet, but I bet they're planning something. Well, if they think they can fool sushi, they better think again. That's the spirit. So what do these kids got to say? We're the fearsome five. When we arrive, it's live at five. We always stick together when, even when we're being bad. Speaking of which, today is the day we put our secret plan into action. It's so cool. Only we five know the plan, and that's the way it has to be. Sorry, can't tell you. Oh man, I'm so excited. I hope I can find a lot of tasty fruit in the jungle. Okay, now. Yeah. Jungle go when I see. And I could go heal up, but I don't want really to see it too necessary right now. A little shop here. We got Snowman Oh, Thunder Rage. Thunder Rage is attack all enemies. Fire Flower, Tasty Tonic, uh, Honey Syrup, and Super Shroom. Um, I don't really think I really need to, like, check or anything. I do have 10 items on hand, but if anything, I'll probably keep this because it's more useful for recipes, and if you use it in battle, it'll do 3 HP of damage to an enemy. Sleepy sheep, I never really like keeping those around, and plus I have lullaby anyway. Ah, nice little toad house right there. You get to sleep on a, a wood bed with some leaves over you. Probably not the most comfortable thing, but I bet it'll do. Yeah! Hey! Help! Help! Uh, I'm pretty sure you're a mustached fellow. If you've only got a mustache. Yo, get a hold of yourself, bruh! You attack the enemies instead of me! Well, when he suddenly turn ghetto-like. Come on, this ain't no time for some ghetto stuff right here. And when we thought that the shy guys were done with, there's still more. Alright, these are spear guys out of the jungle. They got 7 HP, 3 attack power. And they're kind of interesting, depending on where their spear is facing, will determine whether or not you can use your hammer or jumping. So, the way that one's facing, I'll have to jump on him. And if I have spiked shield, I could jump on the other guy, but, yeah. And they also do a little booty call to call any friends, and it'll work or maybe not work. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's just, uh, slam you down. And that guy's still in the way. Do all the damage to you. You've taken 10 HP of damage. I don't need to be happy. And okay, I thought he was like just saying screw it and leaving the battle. But no, he just uh, decided to throw a spirit at me and become a normal naked shy guy. Yeah, new this time, even though he got the little weird shy guy uh, mask and suit on. But yeah, three step points out of that because we're, they're still shy guys. <laughs> But yeah, Colorado was saved. <sighs> you saved me once more. You're top notch, Mario. Now I feel that our destination, the volcano, is quite near. Let's bust on while our spirits are high, eh? Alrighty. Let's get going. I can't slam that tree. I want to slam this tree. It's a big tree. I like slamming big trees. Ooh, lava. Oh, Mario, have a look at this. Ooh. A little menacing there. Looks like the entrance to the volcano, eh, oh boy? Somewhere in that volcano are treasures I'm looking for. I know it, the secrets of an ancient civilization. And yet, can't find a way in. Bit of a sticky wicket, hmm? Yeah, I'd agree. But I shall not give up. A good explorer never stops gathering information. Let's go back to the village to look for clues. There must be a way in there. There simply must. Come now. Alrighty. Let's just get headed back after and go back to the village. Ah, yeah! Stop! Stop it! Ah, uh, great. What's going on now? What? Are the, is the air attacking you? Oh, you think I was beset by enemies again, old boy? Just a bit of a joke. Explorers must have a sense of humor, don't you know? And anyway, let's move on. Yeah, roll number three in the guidebook. Get a damn sense of humor. <laughs> Alright. Whoa, what's going on with the music? Well, the Yoshis are panicking. Elder, what's going on? Oh, such ill fortune! The children are missing! They seem to have secretly slipped off to the jungle. They don't know what's dangerous. We must get them back here to safety. Mario, shall I ask you to look for these lost children? As you can see, the Yoshis of my village are panicking. They aren't thinking straight. <laughs> Just try to calm them down. Just 
I'll try to calm them down. You just find those kids, okay. Yeah, whatever. And then Colorado is just sitting there like, okay, whatever. Anyway, let's get into the jungle. Where well, there's evil flowers! Yep, there were heart plants that gave us hearts, but these are hurt plants that will lay a hurting on us. They have 8 HP, they are to attack, and they can potentially poison you. Maybe I'll allow that to be shown off briefly, because I can't really take one out in one fell swoop without using power balance or combining partner stuff. But yeah, I'll take nothing, but from that I'll get poison, it'll last however many turns it shows, and you do 1 HP of damage to yourself. Yeah, there are quite a lot of hurt plants. There's some that I kind of know by heart are ones that don't really cause too much trouble. And you can't exactly get, like, endless hearts out of these. Like, sometimes they let things out, sometimes they don't. Uh, let's see, I think I need one more. So yeah, there we go. Actually, huh, I was full on HP anyway, yay! Anyway, jungle exploring time. It's the jungle out there. Oh boy, we're getting ambushed by enemies known as Ambush. This is an ambush, looks like it's shaking its butt at me even though I think that might be a space so out. Actually, I don't even know. 8 attack power, they can be poisonous as well, so they're basically hurt plants with one more attack power. Interesting enemies all around, let's just keep going. I don't know why I call everything interesting. Get back here this instant, you little ingrates! You're very ingrate yourself, whoever you are. Hey you, down there, look up here if you hear me. Look up here if you hear me. Hey, it's Sushi. This is so embarrassing, I'm stuck in this tree. Can you help me out somehow? Sure, I guess I'll help you. Can I slam the tree like that? No, maybe not, I guess, or something. Come on now, try harder. Come on, you're coming down. There we go. Now you're down here. Oh, phew, I'm saved. I feel like one big ache. Thanks for getting me out of that tree. I think I'll be okay now. Oh, those little... I'm chasing down those naughty little Yoshi boys, and I fell into their trap. Don't they know how dangerous it is to go into the jungle? I have to find them before they get in too deep. As for you, you better get back to the village too. It's dangerous out there. Why on earth did you come into the jungle anyway? Well, I'm looking for the kiddos, but also you're looking for those little rascals as well. Well, uh, I don't see why we don't just look for them together. They really don't understand the dangers of the jungle, so we have to find them soon. Oh my, how impolite. I haven't even asked your name. What is it, pray tell? Don't you know? I be Mario. Huh? Hmm, well, I never heard of you before. You must be from far away or something. Enjoy lava, lovely lava lava island. That's what I'd usually say for a visitor anyway, but first, can help me find those boys. Surprise, surprise, new party member, Sushi! And we can do water traveling. Yeah, awesome stuff. So, water is actually interactable now, as long as there's these little platforms that we can take. And then we can also go further underwater to get under whatever obstacles may be around. So yeah, always awesome stuff. Start piece right out in the open, and also a letter right by it to Rusty and Toe Town. Always good with Rusty's. Okay, now I'll just hop off right here. And here is another bubble thing. Give me your seed. Yo, what's up? Thanks for waking me up. Sounds so nice, isn't it? It's a perfect place for napping. Perfect temperature. And this one's a wrapper, apparently. I'm a bubble. My job is to fill this world with flowers. Nice, huh? I want you to take the seed. Or rather, that's what I want to say to you. Unfortunately, the seed isn't quite ready yet. Don't worry though, it'll be ready anytime now. Waiting in such a warm, comfy place can be all that bad, right? Come grab the sea litter. It's pretty generous, so I'll be giving stuff here to people. <laughs> Messing up my words all the time and everything. So Sushi is a nice new party member. There is going to be a super bot before long, so we can <laughs> already go ahead and upgrade her. But yeah, that always seems to be kind of a thing ever since we've gotten Bo. Well, actually, pretty much... Ever since we got Paracarry, there's a super block right by- I mean, like, there was a super block right by Paracarry, but we need the super hammer. But then there was one in the Oasis, so we can get around to that. And by the way, uh, pretty much all these little things are traps, and they'll often do damage to you. There is one that has a coin in the middle of it, as we'll see later on. And we've got Spear Guys right there above the Vlad block. Rearranged letter placement. Alright, let's give Sushi's Belly Flop a shot. Let's charge it up like the hammer, and BAM! Okay, what's our awesome new badge? Power Quake greatly damages all enemies on the ground and ceiling, so if you want to do some earthquake stuff, you can do even more damage. And I see Yoshi Kid off in the distance, but I can't quite get to him because there's no place to disembark. I don't know why he can't just jump off a of sushi and then just like lift her up and have her suffocate from being not in water. Or maybe she's like a mudfish, like a mudkip or something. Yeah, mudkip, mudkip. 
a little mudkip marsh apparently, and here's our super block right here, and that's a hurt plant. Uh, yeah, I do know things by heart, haha, uh -huh. making the joke again. And as for Sushi's new ability that she'll be learning, it's gonna be water block, which will increase Mario's defense power if you get it, uh, good for a certain number of turns, but certain things like such as getting sucked on by the uh, gold fuzzies I've noticed actually don't give you the extra defense like like pretty much di direct enemies attacking dialect but yeah uh, I say this episode's rather lengthy so I'll end it off right here with some ringy flowers and coins and trees I'll be ending off this episode so until next time on Paper Mario where we s begin fully the search of the fearsome five do not toast yourself